This ancient method is literally the king of memory techniques. Its power is so incredible that all memory athletes use it invariably in their memory training and in memory competitions. In short, the memory palace method works like this. You take with you the images you want to memorize and you embark on an imaginary journey through a place you know well, such as your home or your daily commute to work. Then, in different places that follow a certain order, you place a picture and make a mental connection between it and the place. For example, you could imagine a tiger laying in your living room, then a shark swimming in your bathtub, and then Brad Pitt washing dishes in your kitchen. All of these images personalized by your mind are extremely powerful triggers for your memories. When you want to remember these items again, you simply go through the route markers in the same sequence and all the images will appear in your mind's eye. In this way, this technique uses familiar locations to help you memorize new information. Now, let's answer the 100 points question. What is a memory palace? Contrary to what you may think from what you have seen so far about this technique, a memory palace is not a very complicated thing. On the contrary, its main feature is that you know it very well. It may be your home, your journey to work in the morning, your neighborhood, or your town. Along these places, there are specific locations that you always visit in the same order, so you can create a path in your mind made up of places that you know well and can easily visualize. To use these places as mental structures, you populate them with images representing whatever you want to remember. Each stage of those routes can be used as a mental peg where you hang some images that help you form the associations needed for memorization. It is recommended to prepare your memory palaces beforehand and even develop your collection of memory palaces to rotate their use for different memory tasks because they can be reused after some time. Just imagine what it would be like to have your collection of mental palaces ready to be filled with memorable images, each intended for a certain type of information. It would be like upgrading your memory 10 times. Let's view a little example. I will teach you how to memorize the five essential characteristics of an entrepreneur by transforming them into images, then placing these images along a mental journey. Here are the five items we have to learn in order. Motivation, passion, vision, confidence, and decision-making. The first step is to associate these abstract characteristics with tangible things. For the word motivation, I will associate the image of a human fist raised up. For passion, I can associate a passion fruit. For the word vision, my first thought is about the sight, and I will associate it with a pair of glasses. For confidence, I will use the image of a superhero, for example, Superman. And for decision making, I will associate the image of a judge. Now, I have five images fist, passion fruit, glasses, Superman, and judge, which I will put in a memory palace, a well known journey. By linking these images with the places, we get significant memory triggers when we have to remember the characteristics of a good entrepreneur. As long as your images are clear, there is no way you can make a mistake. You will remember the list for days even if you don't practice it.